All right, we're back with pros and cons for the Harley Quinn show, uh, season two, episode four. Uh, let's jump right into this so we can make this as short as fucking possible. Uh, con starting off with a shitty banger, uh, with Harley saying that everyone always draws dicks and that somehow magically makes it sexist, and that is because she uses uh, fireflies flamethrower to make a vagina in the wall and uses up all the fuel in the gun to do so. But, uh, unfortunately, people drawing dicks is sexist. I, I don't I don't know how the fuck that makes any goddamn sense. Also, is no one gonna acknowledge King Shark saying that he was betrothed to someone uh, of the Hammerhead Shark Clan? I forgot what her name was, but I think it started with a T. Uh, no one is acknowledging that at all, so I'm guessing that's just flying by people's radar, you know, whatever. Uh, pro, I have to say that I found a lot of enjoyment, enjoyment in seeing Harley figure skating and kicking ass. Didn't care for the bullshit spewing from her mouth, though, but enjoyable nonetheless. Uh, next, pro, they really just disrespected Beyonce and Lady Gaga in one joke, and I loved it. But in all honesty... You came there to kill Mr. Freeze. Who else would be coming out of that foggy door? Come on. No one else but him. Uh, Khan. Uh, the crew being frozen and captured isn't really the con. However, the fact that it could have been avoided if Harley hadn't have used all the fuel in the flamethrower to make a pussy wall, that does it for me. This could have been avoided if you hadn't have made a pussy wall. Moving on. Con. Harley convinces Mr. Freeze to not experiment on her by getting Ivy to help him cure his wife. Then coming up with the plan to use his wife as a hostage to get the upper hand on Freeze is the worst idea in the history of ideas. Freeze's wife is the only thing that keeps his sanity in check. Without her around... He won't hesitate to kill everyone and everything. Also, being that Harley has a track record of making plans that repeatedly fail, only for one of those plans to fail in a way that leads to success, this could go bad very fucking quickly. Next con. Freeze wheels in Nora, and the look on her frozen face is, an, is nightmare fuel. Wait, why is that a con? It's actually a pro. Because their reaction was actually funny to me. Anyway, it's not a con, it's a pro. Uh, this one is definitely a con. What is with all these assumptions that Harley has about people this season? Everyone knows that Freeze's wife is frozen because that's how he's keeping her alive while he finds a cure. In fact, he has mentioned this to Harley and the, and the crew that he is trying to find a cure for his wife who is terminally ill. Freezing her is his way of keeping the illness at bay from killing her until he finds a cure for her. All the other villains know this. Batman knows this. But for some strange reason, Harley doesn't know this. How? Anyway, continuing. He doesn't get off on freezing women, even though Harley believes he gets off on freezing women. She actually says this. Also, she plans to unfreeze Nora to save her. Not a good idea. You would literally be killing Nora if you did this. But Harley's an idiot. So, yeah. Next con. Yeah. What was going on with the Joker wasn't really love. It was more like... Stop, wait, what? <laughs> Shit. I, I, I fucked that up. Hold on, let me start that sentence over here. The whole thing with Joker wasn't love, okay? The whole thing with Joker wasn't love. Harley has a, a constant theme going on where her friends and now Mr. Freeze telling her that her relationship with Joker wasn't love and it was abusive. But for some odd reason, Harley Quinn knows this but for the sake of plot, she will just forget this and will be 
acting as if what they had was actual love. And she literally blames everything that's happened in her life on the Joker and love. Well, mostly love, which was stupid because their relationship was extremely abusive. Joker has constantly tried to kill her. He abuses her daily. And Harley just ate it. She was one of those idiotic women who would tell you he hits me because he loves me. You know those women where you clearly are trying to tell them, hey, you need to get as far away from this guy as possible. He doesn't love you. He is an abusive asshole. And then they make excuses for the abuse, trying to make it seem as if the abuse itself is love. Him is him showing love for her. At that point, you just got to aban abandon that bitch because she's a fucking idiot. Harley is one of those bitches you just got to abandon because she just doesn't get it. It's, it. She just doesn't get it. Like, bitch, I'm trying to help you, and you're just making excuses. I, I, what the fuck am I supposed to do? But the fact that everyone is telling her this, and this show is literally making it so that she does not understand this, pisses me off to no end. Because Harley in the comics understands this. Well, she understands it now. She knows it wasn't love. But in this show, for some odd reason, she, for the sake of plot, still believes it's love. Fuck this show. Uh, Harley is literally projecting her issue with Joker onto Freeze and has condemned Nora to death by unfreezing Nora because... Again, she believes what she had with Joker was love, and he abused that love, and blah, blah, blah. And so she just condemns fucking Nora to death by unfreezing her, as I thought she would, because, you know, her plans failed, so she was going to do that. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Freeze reacted in the way that I expected by saying he's going to kill everyone unless they can cure Nora in time. I fucking hate this season. I really do. It's a lot of stupid shit going on. Anyway, next con. Harley has ruined a pretty good side plot that's going on with Ivy and Kite Man. Side plot, side story, whichever one you want to call it. Because she's an idiot. They had a lovely little thing going on, although Kite Man was kind of fumbling during that whole little interview thing. Yeah. A little distraction probably would have helped, but not like a distraction involving Ivy having to leave to go save Harley's dumbass. All that could have been avoided. Anyway, uh, next con. When the hell did she come up with the conclusion that Freeze had uh, was the mastermind behind trying to kill her? She pulled that out of her ass. Plus, he goes on this small, woke rant about how the others wanted to kill her, and he technically saved her life by freezing her. Like, I have no problem with him talk, talking them into freezing her instead of killing her. It was just the whole wokeness of how he said it involving a bunch of old white guys. He was like, mm, I'm getting tired of hearing that shit everywhere I go and watch TV, movies, comics. Like, I'm getting tired of stuff. Hell, they even get into video games lately. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of tired of that shit. I really am. This needs to end. Eventually. Anyway. Uh, next con. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, pro. I lost track of of my little notes here. Uh, honestly, Kite Man at this moment gave me the laugh I needed to continue with the show, because quite honestly, I didn't want to finish this episode. I really didn't. But Kite Man fucking around and touching the wrong plant and then going numb at like right when he gets to the fact uh, to freeze his little mansion. It was kind of funny to me. I, I, I needed that because everything leading up to that point was just stupid and it was pissing me off the more I watched it. Uh, next pro. I would consider Freeze dying 
a con like severely, but it's not because they handled it somewhat well. Uh, I got a good laugh out of Psycho because he he was complaining about how he was feeling feelings, and and he starts crying like everyone else was except for Harley because she's just looking like you know it's it's not really registering that she just uh destroyed a couple a happy couple a happy married couple because of her idiocy but the only thing she cares about is the fact that what she saw was actual love and she like maybe i don't know what love is yes you don't know what love is so i'm glad you're acknowledging that so all of those things plus nora is alive is a a plus for me that's a pro for me um I don't like the fact that Nora lives, but it comes at a cost of her husband dying. So yeah, that really fucking sucks, which leads to this con, uh, which it's all about Harley. Because fuck her, and fuck the plot, fuck the writers, fuck this season and this show, for making this happen in the first place. This was 100% Harley's fault. And the only lesson she learned was that she really didn't know what love was. Y'all deserve 50 fucking cons added to this shit. You really fucking do. Fuck this season. Fuck the writers for this shit. Seriously. This is episode five levels of fuckery. Well, no, I think I would consider it up there to episode five levels of fuckery. Because quite honestly, Mr. Freeze didn't have to die. This is literally a plan, like I said before... Her plans repeatedly fail until they fail in a way that it succeeds. In this way, her plan failed because she had no choice but to call Ivy, even though she tried not to get Ivy involved. And um, it fails again because even though Ivy comes up with a cure, it requires Mr. Freeze to die. So it failed, but it also succeeded. Yeah, this is a uh... yeah. I'm 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 fucking done. Fuck this goddamn season, the show, all this bullshit. Ugh, fuck this. Mm -hmm.